this city and also of Hungary. That was the coronation church of the Hungarians. For example, famous Empress Maria Theresa in 1740 was crowned here as the Queen of Hungary. The Austrian Empress, the Holy Roman Empress. And here are the old defense walls on the right, the old defense walls of the city of Bratislava. On the right town behind them is the old town where we were, where we ate. It's a small town. It's really, you could walk the whole city back and forth quite easily, uh, especially the center of it. In a minute, oh. we are making a left turn, so it will be in a moment. So this is the residence of the Slovak, um, uh, Slovak uh, president nowadays. Slovak president is also like in every other country here around, not a very. They are arresting journalists and everyone else who publicly opposes them. That's open oppression. We have to hit back. We have to. Austria, Hungary, Czech Republic. German ambition in Europe will be stopped from. But if you lose the election, Monsieur Clemenceau, then we will be facing a different scenario, one I dread to describe. Duty will be bound by a treaty to become our enemy instead of our friend. Now will be some real impressive view. First of all, look to the left. You can see the district of uh, the royal castle, the uh, famous TV tower. That's where our hotel is located, right next to it. So this is a very good sign. If you get totally lost, this tower you can see from every place. It's true. It's that thing which looks like a finger on the right side. Now it's covered with buildings, but it will be sticking out. It's a one which is not all that new, dating back to 1300s, to times of Charles IV. Of course, the houses that you see here are not that old. They are all about 100 years old. It's the new town, so the area where we are right now. So, castle district. Oh, the greatness of Czech culture, so-called national, national revival movement. But unless you are really interested in broken pots, then you can go. 
A huge collection of broken pots. <laughs> we can go. And we will go by streetcar. We will go to the one of the major areas of the new town. So that's the loss you will have to encounter if you want to have money already today. If you can wait until tomorrow. <laughs> We're on the. What do you call this? Check, check the Folks, this is a villain head show. That's right. <laughs> Here's him. Here's Bill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the street. Aren't you sleeping? <laughs> and there's Cheryl, Doris Day. And Cheryl and Doris Day. <laughs> <laughs> Doris Day's husband, Ed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the poor one. <laughs> Pepper liquor is the local medicine. That's a uh, aperitif that has been made for 200 years of 24 different herbs. So this something that I leave you for your own explorations maybe on the last day this is really gorgeous part of Prague on the other side of the river you can see a church with a huge dome this church is called Saint Nicholas in the old town and that church is said to be the most beautiful example of Baroque in Prague so you enter it and it's out of this world it's, it's really such a piece of Baroque that's not comparable to anything here is the statue of Charles IV, Charles IV and the Bridge. Two churches which are no longer open because I told you before this country has had a lot of uh, problems. Subway, hey, I guess. Subway, Czech Republic. <laughs> 